Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. This is Dr. Kava. In the previous lecture, we learned to calculate the elasticity by proportionate method through percentage method by using a point or arc method of elasticity. But in this lecture, we will talk about how to calculate the elasticity through the total revenue, total expenditure or outlay method. The Alfred Marshall are told that there is a relationship between the price elasticity and the total revenue. So before to discuss about to calculate the elasticity of demand, it is necessary to understand that what is revenue. As we know that the total revenue called price into quantity. So the revenue is the amount which is received by the seller through the sale of the goods and services. When for example, when the price is 10, the quantity sold is 10, the total revenue is 100. This is the total revenue. And total revenue is the price into quantity is total revenue. So the total revenue method states that when the price increases or decreases, the total revenue increases or decreases. Total revenue, if, if increases, then the elasticity is greater than 1 when price decreases and total revenue if decreases elasticity is less than 1 when price increases or decreases but total revenue does not change means elasticity is equal to 1 so total revenue is simple only it tells about that whether the expenditure or revenue increases or decreases or increase in or decrease in price so for example here is the, when the price is 10 the quantity demanded is 10 and total revenue is 100 when the price decreases from 10 to 8 the quantity demanded increases from 10 to 15 and total revenue increases to 120 it means the revenue increases if the revenue increases it means elasticity is greater than 1 if revenue decreases now for example when the price is 8 the quantity demanded is 15 the total revenue is 120 when the price increases from 8 to 10 the quantity demanded decreases from 15 to 10 so the total revenue is 100 it means the total revenue decreases it means here elasticity is less than 1 and when the total revenue does not change for example, when the price is 10, the quantity demanded is 10. So it means the total revenue is 100. When the price decreases from 10 to 5, the quantity demanded increases from 10 to 20. So the total revenue is 100. So the total revenue does not change. It means the elasticity is equal to 1. So Total revenue, total expenditure or outlay method states that when the price increases or decreases, the total revenue if increases, the elasticity is greater than 1. Like in the first case, total revenue decreases when the price increases from 8 to 10, but the total revenue has decreased. That It means that the elasticity is less than 1. When increase or decrease in price does not affect the revenue so when the price has decreased from 10 to 5 but the quantity has increased from 10 to 20 uh, but that revenue remains same so it means this is the elasticity is equal to 1 so it's a total revenue or total expenditure or outlay method it is state that if price increases quantity demanded decreases but the total revenue or total expenditure increases decreases or remains same. Now we are talking about that if demand is inelastic as the example we given in the elastic and style that the salt for example when the price is 10 rupees per kg we are we demanding the 2 kg of salt so the total revenue is 20 here when the price decreases from 10 to 5 the total revenue is 10 now so it means that when the price increases or decreases, so the revenue changes in the same direction. So it's an inelastic demand. When the demand is inelastic, 
the total revenue changes in the same direction. If the demand is elastic, the total revenue changes in the opposite direction. For example, when the price is 10, the quantity demanded is 2. When the price decreases from 10 to 5, the quantity demanded increases from 2 to 8. So it means the total revenue increases with decrease in price in the opposite direction. So it's an elastic demand. If the demand is elastic, the total revenue will change in the opposite direction. If demand is inelastic, the total revenue will change in the same direction. When the demand is unit elastic, it means for example, in the price decreases from 10 to 5, the quantity demanded increases from 100 to 200, it means the total revenue will not change. So, the total revenue remains same. So, it's all about the second method. The total revenue, total expenditure or outlay method. In the first part of the calculation and interpretation of velocity of demand, we had seen that percentage method or proportional method through point and arc method in which that the arc method was preferred because when we move from A to B or B to A, the result remains same. So you can watch my the video on the calculation and interpretation of velocity of demand. Before seeing this video, you must uh, watch my first part on the calculation and interpretation of the last year of the month. So you will have a better concept about the calculation of the last year. So now we will continue our lecture on geometric method. Now we calculate the elasticity through a third method that is geometric method. Geometric method is also used to calculate the point elasticity of demand. To calculate the elasticity on any point, we can use the geometric method. We are making a graph here to understand the geometric method. So it's a linear demand curve. So we can calculate the elasticity at any point. For example, we would like to calculate the elasticity at point B, D, and uh, E. So we will see that how to calculate the elasticity at any point. For the geometric method is price elasticity of demand is equal to P over P minus A. Here, the P means the price at which you want to find the elasticity. A means the price where quantity demanded is zero. So, if we want to find the elasticity at point B, for example, when the price is 5, what is the elasticity at point B? So, we can calculate by using this formula P upon P minus A. So, the price P is equal to 5. At 5 price, we want to calculate the last year point B when the price is 5. So, 5 upon 5 minus A. A is the point where the quantity demanded are the 0. So, when the price is 6 rupees, the quantity demanded is 0. So, the 5 minus 6. So, last year can be calculated here. 5 upon 5 minus 6 minus 1. So, price last year of demand is equal to minus 5 at point B. It means the elasticity is greater than 1. So now we would like to calculate the elasticity for example at point D. Price elasticity of demand is P upon P minus A is equal to P is now at point D is 3 where we want to find the elasticity. So 3 upon 3 minus A is the point where the quantity demanded is 0. So the 6 is the price when the quantity demanded is 0. 3 upon 3 minus 6 minus 3. So the last T is equal to 1 at point D. Because it's a linear demand curve, it's a midpoint. At midpoint, the last T is equal to 1. The last T above the middle point is greater than 1. As we have proved that the last T is greater than 1 means last T is minus 5. So, if it's a greater than 1, so minus sign is always dropped. If we want to calculate the last year at point E, so we can calculate at point E, below the midpoint, the price, when the price is 2, the 2 minus 6, 
प्राइस इलास्टिक ऑफ डिमांड इज इक्वल टू 2 अपॉन माइनस फोर सो माइनस वन अपॉन टू इट मींस इलास्टिक ऑफ डिमांड एट पॉइंट ई इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इट मींस इलास्टिक इज लेस देन वन सो व्हेन देयर इज द लिनियर डिमांड का द इलास्टिक एट एवरी पॉइंट इज डिफरेंट सो If we move from B to C, elasticity above the middle point, elasticity is greater than one on linear demand curve, and elasticity below the middle point. As we have proved that elasticity is less than one, that is 0.5. You can also calculate like this here on F or G. The elasticity will be less than one, and if you would like to calculate the elasticity at point C, then you will see that the elasticity is greater than one, as we have already calculated the middle point that the elasticity is equal to one. So this is the calculation of the elasticity using the geometric method so we have completed the three methods to calculate the elasticity and if we summarize we can say that the price elasticity can be computed through a three methods percentage method and the geometric method and the total revenue total outlay or total expenditure method the percentage method can be calculated through a different formula as we calculated in the previous lecture first part of the calculation and interpretation of the last year demand in the second part we have calculated the elasticity using a total revenue or total expenditure or total outlay method as the alfred marshall told that there is a relationship between price and total revenue when the demand is inelastic the total revenue will change in the same direction when the demand is elastic the total revenue changes in the opposite direction whereas the demand is unit elastic the total revenue does not change and the geometric method can be used to calculate the point elasticity of demand at any point when the linear demand curve or uh, the elasticity will be different at every point at the middle of the point the elasticity is equal to 1 the elasticity is greater than 1 above the middle point and the elasticity is less than 1 below the midpoint so it's all about to calculate the elasticity and elasticity is very important topic in our daily life the importance of elasticity we will make another video thank you for watching and enjoy easy learning economics please like share and subscribe